Hey everyone, Ryan from Bike Escape. Right now, I am outside of Gazelle's Experience Center here in Deren, the Netherlands. And in this video, I'm gonna show you all about the Experience Center and give you a taste of what might be the best buying experience for an electric bike. So let's get into it. Hey, welcome to our Experience Center here in Dieren. Uh, this is also where our factory is. We have about 15 Experience Centers in, uh, in, in global, globally. Uh, we're six of them are in Holland. Uh, Gazelle is market leader here in Holland and the consumer can test ride bicycles and we give advice to the consumer, uh, but we're not selling. And that's, I would say, a unique experience because we're not pushing the customer to buy anything. We're just here to give the the consumer a really good experience. Uh, you come into our factory where we have a sky bridge and you can walk over that sky bridge and you can see uh, bicycles being being made. That's so I would say that's a unique uh, experience for you as a consumer. Gazelle has been making bikes since 1892. Let that sink in a little bit. This is a company that has stood the test of time, even receiving their royal title awarded by Princess Marguerite to honor their 100 year anniversary. So it's officially Royal Dutch Gazelle. Like almost every bike company at this point, they have leaned heavily into e-bikes. So much so that nearly the only type of bike the factory here assembles are e-bikes. Gazelle has a vast lineup of e-bikes focused on the more premium mid-drive category, but at the lower end of the spectrum, they have the Medeo T9 City priced in the mid $2,000 range that I think is worthy of consideration for budget-minded buyers. There's a lot of overlap with their US and EU models, so you're bound to find something that fits your needs no matter where you live. But what exactly is the Experience Center and is this the approach that other manufacturers should take? I sure hope so. It's unquestionably the best e-bike buying experience I've ever seen. I traveled four hours just to see this one located in Deren, so if you ever find yourself in the Netherlands, I highly recommend the stop. And while the biking culture can easily accommodate many centers across the Netherlands, don't worry my primarily US-based audience, there is a brand new experience center located in Santa Cruz, California. But what makes this particular Experience Center unique is there is a mini museum highlighting the history of their bikes. I was pretty shocked to see that Gazelle had launched their first electric bicycle in 1932, though it wasn't until the late 1990s when the team got to work again and when Pon Holdings took things over, they focused more on the e-bike space, renovating the factory you see here. And now 70% of the bikes that Gazelle manufactures are e-bikes, Though trust me, there is still a massive amount of old non-electric gazelles around the Netherlands, so much so that it really makes you step back and marvel at just how big of a deal gazelle is here. I certainly didn't appreciate it until I saw it firsthand. Now the factory is what really made this visit unique. For the most part, e-bikes are fully assembled in Asia, not in the US or even Europe. So gazelle is living proof of a different type of business model. An overhead walkway allows you to see employees assembling e-bikes on a staggering scale. It puts the e-bike boom a little bit more in perspective when you see how they're made. Just frame after frame going down the assembly line. And all assembly is done at this plant. Placing the wheels, seating the tires, there's a semi-automated paint shop where all of their e-bikes get multiple layers of paint to stand up to use. And of course, the other assembly as well. The rear racks, installing lights, running cables, fork and handlebar assembly, you get the idea. Seeing all the stations and employees assemble an e-bike with ease was seriously impressive. And the company is constantly trying to automate things to make the process even more efficient. And if you ever wanted additional comfort knowing you purchased from the right brand, Gazelle bikes go through every kind of test you can imagine before they're brought to market. I can't speak for other e-bike brands since I truly do not know, but the amount of testing done here is extensive. It's pretty clear that with the way the Experience Center was built around the factory here, Gazelle is pretty proud to show off what they've done, and they should be. We were also happy to hear that many of the Gazelle employees here have worked here for years. So besides making awesome e-bikes, putting their customers first, they must also be treating their employees right too. Okay, so yes, the factory tour was the highlight for me, but the real value here is for potential customers. The experience centers are all about getting an up close look at all the awesome e-bikes Gazelle has to offer. Staff members are at the ready to answer any questions, 
It's rare to be able to see so many e-bikes from any one e-bike brand in the same space so you can compare and contrast. And because of that, shoppers will know with confidence that they selected the right model from the get-go. There's also a test track that is in the shape of a drivetrain from a bird's eye view, and it offers varying types of terrain so you can really feel how the bike is going to perform. And my favorite part of the whole experience center is that there is zero sales pressure. You literally could not walk out of the Experience Center with a Gazelle e-bike, at least legally. The goal is truly to get information out there and let the customer decide what's best for them. That meshes well with our goal here at eBike Escape, which is sharing information and our expertise on e-bikes and letting you decide what e-bike to buy because the best e-bike to buy is the one that fits your needs the best. We just hope you'll consider using our affiliate links where applicable to help us keep making e-bike videos. If you're in the US and looking at Gazelle as a potential option, you can use their find a shop feature on their website. I hope you enjoyed our last stop on our Netherlands adventures. As always, thanks for watching and we'll see you in the next one.